Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Produce 7.9 SP1. Here is my Produce installation folder. This is the installation file and the crack. Uh, I gathered from uh, Sun's Viri website. So, uh, I'll just right click this and run as admin I click yes at the uh, user account control dialog box just click next yes then use locally installed license key then I'll just go here and press shift right click then copy as path browse for key file here and here paste it open and the key file is found. I'll click this and click install. Yes, so the key file is installed. I'll just click close and go back to the installation. The following key file is installed as it is uh, noted here. Just click yes, click next, and I'll just add these converter files so that I can open all the files. Then purchase uh, just click next and then the installation will proceed When it's done, just uncheck this and click finish. Now we'll have to crack. Just right click on this one and run as admin. Then copy the lab center address of C program files. Then go to lab center, proteus. Click on here and copy. Paste it here. Then click update. Update installed successfully, click OK, then close. So, in order to test if your inst installation is running well, just open open ACES. Here we go. I will copy the um, samples folder. So there are a large number uh you should use this now. Don't show this at all. And yes. Don't display okay. So these are the samples. So before we edit on them, I suggest you copy it. So let's click cancel for a while and go here, go back here in the uh pro program file I'm sending for you spin. Go back backward then copy the samples folder to your desktop or whichever you want most convenient to work with. The samples folder is quite large. So um, once it's copied you can then uh, Copy this address, then open files from there. Let's paste this. And for example, for PIC projects, uh, I think, uh, let's try PIC 18. We have here a chess. Let's try to run this example. You can see the microcontroller here. Double click that, then you can see the code here. It's the hex file. And you can see the um, crystal oscillator circuit here, and this is the uh, clear clear switch. If you click the switch, it clears the it resets the microchip. This is the sounder, 
and then we have a sub circuit here which is the 74LS138 then you can see the entire LCD here and the terminal for the USART which is the XRX so if we try to run this just click play here we'll begin uh, simulating the uh, circuit you notice there are messages here which uh, are basically perhaps um, errors with uh, just warnings caused by the coding of the .cof file so the .cof is a text file of the compiled code so you just click the pawn here in order to move example to this pawn and it responds with a force let's see let's try to uh, get this horse out anyway this is the uh, is my small demonstration of the chess game so if you wish to end the simulation just click stop then let's open the uh, source files here in the samples you can see this was the uh, tiny chess so these are the source files the chess.c, chess.h these are the source files so uh, you can check the uh, code here, it's very simple actually it's just pure brute force when it comes to the computer's move so you uh, you must uh, train your C here so this is just a pure C problem here you can do this so um, this ends the uh, demonstration for the samples file for approaches uh, the next videos will show you how to compile C programs in order to run with Proteus big microcontrollers so thank you for watching see you in the next video